versus options across four different trim levels. In the sole, that will include four-wheel disc brakes, traction control, and the usual menu of handling and safety features. Under the hood, the sole comes with two choices, a 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine or a bigger 2.0-liter motor. We recommend the bigger engine, and even then, getting aggressive in expressway traffic will be a challenge. This is where the sole needs to bring it on to make the vehicle a complete package. A driver will find the interior space functional and entertaining with a custom design audio head end unit. And Kia actually got it right this time with a USB port that can interface with an iPod, something that was missing in other offerings from the company. So how does this kind of vehicle work in a shrinking worldwide automotive market? We're, we're forecasting about a 10 million industry this year, probably not to, to about 2012, we'll see it really ratchet up to around you know 14 or 15 million. So yeah, the heart of the market over the next couple of years will be in segments in which the, the Kia Soul plays. Ironically, Kia, Scion, and Nissan are all trying to take a shot at this segment, while domestic automakers remain primarily on the sidelines. You know, you can't win if you're not in the game. This is Greg Morrison.